Hello and welcome everyone. Sorry for the delay. A little later than normal. But that's what I'm doing. Playing some more uh, Valheim. Okay, so what was I doing? Uh, I'm gonna eat that and that. I need additional food. Put cooked food somewhere. There it is. I need more wood. I'm gonna do what I was doing last stream. I'm just gonna be finishing this. I need something that gives me more health. chop down that birch as much as I want to. I hear gray dwarves. Ow! Stuff. Is that a neck? Get out! Go away! A neck and a grainling. Something's bothering me. I'm trying to build. Go away. <laughs> Tree, chopping that tree. Give me some wood right now. Okay, so I'm wondering about a couple of things here. Did I leave enough room here for? So I've got enough room here I can build a few things if I need to. I was thinking about putting my uh, smelter and stuff, my forge, and all this over here in this big open space. I was thinking about it and I won't be able to because I need to have a workbench nearby that's high enough quality to build certain things. So, I'm gonna have to build it over here. Charcoal, my charcoal kiln. And uh, I may have to just put a door back here. Might be the easiest thing to do, so I can come, come and go from there to do other work. Oops! That's not gonna fly. <laughs> I <can> fixed that. <laughs>
All right, go back to chopping for a bit. That bothers me. But I can't do anything about it right now, so... Oh, well. <laughs> I have devastated this forest right next to my house. Down she goes. That's close. I won't be able to chop down these birch trees until I get the next step up. After I beat the first boss. The old chop chop. I was kind of hoping to knock over uh, a couple of trees into one of these birch trees and bust it up real good. <laughs> the tree down this way if I chop this one. Oh! No, 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 don't roll all the way out there. Don't do that, you stupid, you <laughs> stupid hatchet out. Okay, inventory's full. There we go. That was cool. Sort of. <laughs> Did a real weird swim, hop, jump. sure how I did that, but okay. Works for me. place for you or your ilk.
out of wood. Go ahead and re-up that. Step into my office and repair my things. Hello, Apold. Nathan was talking. I texted Nathan, and he's like, "I might be able to join tonight." It's like, okay, I need to know. Are you talking? You might be able to join halfway through the stream, and it's still a maybe. Or he was like that one. So okay, then I'm gonna do Valheim. <laughs> I got Wapold wanting to watch me base build some more. I'll do that. So here we are. <laughs> Hope you're doing well tonight. I'll tell you, I am not ex I'm not at all excited for tomorrow, except for the fact that it means I'll be one day closer to the end of the week. <laughs> I'm doing well. Just tired. Like, mentally tired. It's been a long week already. My hands still hurt from that ice chopping on Monday. Ooh, there's a deer. I need... No, 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 no. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday, so it'll, I'll be one day closer to the week being over. <laughs> it's just more crap work, is all. Like, the job's not really crap. It's just some of the work I have to do is... Would you just... Thank you. Uh, example being... Um, like all that ice scraping on Monday. You know, stuff that... I get it. The regional wanted it done. Because we had a lender coming to inspect the property. And he hasn't seen it before. So he doesn't know how bad it was. So he, it needs to look great for him. But at the same time... Uh, you need me to get a bunch of stuff done. I need to go pick up trash around the property. But instead, I spent half an hour chipping ice. When what I should have done is thrown out some salt, because we still had a few bags of salt. Waited 20 minutes to a half hour, since the lender was going to be there in two hours. Let the salt chew up the ice some, and then chip at it. You know, it's just working harder, not smarter. Just... just irritating and uh I was helping Mike do work orders right at the end of the day because my supervisor was like okay well you go start on that next unit I was like why it's four o'clock I can't do anything in there she's like just go I was like why don't I help Mike do work orders she's like fine help Mike do work orders then it's like, okay no problem that's what we wanted to do <laughs> We go to as soon as we step out the door to go do work orders. One came, in, a, an emergency came in. We're like, well, you need to just go check this out because they said that there's water coming in through their ceiling. Okay, well, can you give us some information about it? Anything at all? Any information at all? And no, the answer is no. They won't tell us anything. They won't ask people questions annoying we have four parking spaces in front of the shop um, three of them have maintenance parking only signs above them and the office staff always tries to park over there there's four maintenance people but you know Cody always parks away from everything because he doesn't want to get his car anywhere close to the shop because, I mean, a lot of times we're doing stuff, you know, like cutting wood or spray painting stuff outside. It's just, you know, opportunity for your car to get torn up. So he doesn't like to do that. You know, I don't blame him. But I park over there because I need to pull up and unload my, tr I need to take all my tools off my truck, but I don't need to take all my tools at once because if I did that, I wouldn't have any space on my golf cart for like supplies to do work orders or anything like that but 
Um, the one of the ladies in the office, she can't park her car straight because I mean she's a bigger girl, so she needs to. <laughs> she always parks all wonky because if she parks like a normal person, she can't get in and out of her car. You know, it's just it's just the way it is. So she always comes over and she takes the spot that's the only one that's like a loading zone because there's pillars in front of the building because we're just in the basement of one of the, of the apartment building across from the office, which the office is just in the basement of the apartment building across from the shop. So there's only like three spaces in front of the office, so they don't they can't park there. So what ends up happening is they get into an epic battle because they pull up and park into the maintenance parking only spaces and we tell them they need to move and they say no and then we got hit with the well she comes in at 8 30 and leaves at 5 30 because she has to drop her kids off at school and then uh she drops her kids off at school so she has to get off a little later because she comes in a little later you know and it's getting dark outside early enough and I was like, okay, that's fine, but I'm not, she still can't have that space. And they were like, why? And I said, because she goes on her lunch break at 3 o'clock. She gets an hour break, and the office is closed at 4. So she could park in front of the office when she comes back. And I'm like, well, that's not, I'm like, don't give me that. Don't, stop it. <laughs> don't give me a reason and then completely change the reason because... You know, somebody being lazy is just being lazy. <laughs> but today, I get to work and none of the maintenance staff are parked in front of the shop. It's just empty spaces. I was like, well, I'm not going to be the only one to park in front of the shop and keep making a scene. It's incredibly frustrating. Especially when... I always feel like the office just doesn't care. Like, I'll get work orders that just have a category as toilet, and all it says is seat loose. Like, there's no other information, there's nothing at all about it, they don't ask any questions, and it's incredibly frustrating. My, uh, the property manager I used to work for in Alabama, she, uh, she said when she first became an assistant manager, she got a work order from somebody. Oh, she got a work order from one of the residents. And, uh... <laughs> she said the, uh... The maintenance tech at the time walked into the office and picked up the work orders. He's like, okay, I'll... You know, I'll see what's going on with all the work orders. And it says, kitchen sprayer has water coming out of it. And the tech picks up the work order and shakes it around and goes, What do they want? Soft serve ice cream? Because she didn't write, like, she just wrote, the sprayer has water coming out of it. Water's supposed to come out of them. <laughs> like, she's like, okay, next time, I need to word it a little differently. Like, yes, you do. You know, we can't help people if you don't tell us what the problem is. And I get some of the times you don't understand what the people are saying. Because we have a lot of, I mean, I'm, like, a lot of Hispanic residents who just about the only thing they speak is Spanish. You know, there, I had one resident, I had to go into their apartment because the apartment downstairs had water leaking into it, and they wouldn't let me in because they couldn't understand that I was maintenance and needed to check to see if there was a water leak coming from their apartment. So I had to get on Google, I had to type in my question into, uh, into an English to Spanish translator and hold it up to them so they could read it and see why I needed to get in their apartment. So, it's extra frustrating when they let people into the office, like, after the office is closed, because they speak Spanish, and then we get told it's an emergency and we have to go over there right now, uh, when we'll get over there and they won't even tell us what the problem is because we can't communicate with each other. It's incredibly frustrating. They did let me in then, yes. And there was no leak coming from their apartment. But I tried to tell the guy, because I had to pull a bunch of insulation out of the wall to see, to check the pipes to see if water was coming from his from his pipes. Uh, and I told him, I tried to tell him I would be back 
in just a second because I had to go to my truck to get some gloves. Well, I come back and they almost didn't let me in because he'd taken the the insulation and just jammed it back in the wall. <laughs> and if you've ever worked with insulation, you're not supposed to do that because it's basically just glass fibers that have been stretched out. And, uh, I mean, it'll make you itch. It'll tear you up if you're not careful. You get it in your eyes, it's very bad. Oh, it was just a grayling. You sounded way more intimidating. What you got? Come on. Is that it? There we go. Nice. You know, no. Basically, feel like. I mean, it's true of a lot of office staff. A lot of office staff think themselves as over maintenance in the chain of command. When really what ends up happening is there's two managers for a property. There's the property manager and there's the maintenance supervisor. And really, if there's a difference at all, the property manager's like this far above the, the maintenance manager, if at all. And so we don't answer to the office, we answer to the maintenance supervisor. The only, really the only person we answer to is the property manager, besides the maintenance supervisor. But leasing professionals think that, you know, they can boss maintenance around and tell us what to go do. Like, no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Maintenance supervisor tells maintenance where to go and what to do. <laughs> Which one do I have? Not nearly enough. I think I went over there and checked that out my first stream. Wasn't much to it. thing that happens. If you've lived in an apartment complex before, you usually have gotten letters on your door about stuff. Like, if you're late on your rent, you'll get a notice. Uh, if you violated the terms of your lease, you'll get a lease violation letter. If there's going to be super cold weather, um, you know, or there's an announcement about, like, if they're going to restripe the parking lot. Note, like, stuff gets stuck to doors. What well, doesn't magically show up? That's part of the office's job, is to put that stuff out. But as a courtesy, maintenance will put them out when asked. I have never seen anybody from my office, currently, with the exception of the property manager, go put notices on doors. <laughs> like, never once. They think it's our job to go do it, and it irritates me. Ooh. So, yeah, it's just all fun stuff. You know, and uh, they also told us we needed to start getting... Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Huh. Right, I'm going to push you back to shore. Yes! No, 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 no! Ow. My bones. Ow. I'll go ahead and chop these up into little bits. That way they won't drift down again. <laughs> I'll just come back and scoop up all the loose wood. You know, we're down a person right now, so we're just we're doing the best we can on work orders. I mean, every day we'll have like Mike out doing work orders, and he'll knock out like five or six of them, but eight come in while he's doing that. So 
I mean, it's... The other thing that residents love, love to do, is that crap where they'll, uh... They'll put in a work order for something, and then you go into their apartment to work on it. I'm like, well, I'm also having this problem. It's like, no, 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 no. Call the office back and tell them you're having that problem. You know what? Because you didn't tell me it was a problem. You didn't tell the office it was a problem before. It's a problem suddenly now. But we need to have a record that it's a problem and that it needs to be fixed. Without that, you know, it's worthless. <laughs> we have to have a record. We can't just go into your apartment because then if something goes missing, we have to have a record that you said it was okay for us to come in and look at that thing. Everybody just thinks it's okay. <laughs> well, you're here already. No. Really, I'm not. <laughs> I'm here doing the other thing that you said you needed done. Forgot about this piece of flint I picked up for no reason. Here we go. Gray dwarf eyeball. Got 6,000 pieces of wood. Uh-oh. What happened? Beagle, what are you doing? Why did that break? That was strange. If I come back later and that chest is broken, I'll just move it. Neck tails. Yum yum. I'm gonna put some shields up here. two to snap together, okay? There you go. Just like that. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to finish this first. <laughs> there we go.
Yeah, because this is going to have to be a thing. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work for what I'm going to need it later. I'm going to have to build a... Uh... I did just finish the wall, and I have made a lot of progress. I had a lot of wood <laughs> that I needed to get rid of. And now I'm building a bridge. So that way, when I get to the point where I've got a cart for hauling supplies around, I'll be able to get it out. Because I'm probably going to have to go the direction of this little river here. And without that, I'm not going to be able to... Is that snapping? No, it's not. How about you? Are you snapping? Yeah, there you are. Is that blue? Yes! Good, 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 good. good. I've made progress. Um, I'm going to have to use a little hand cart to haul materials around. And without that, I'm... <laughs> Once I get that little cart, I'm not going to be able to make it across this river. It's going to be a whole thing, so... I'm just going to rip the wall down here, run this through, and then sort of um, build the gate out around the other end. Don't swim. There we go. That's good. I have to do it from here. And... Don't slide. Stop it. Okay, that's blue, so that's... Embedded in the ground. I really like it. I had to sit down and sort of finagle with the way construction works to get this, to get it figured out. Just because I was running into a lot of issues with like structures looking like they're going to collapse. You know, all that goodness. And I didn't want that to happen. That's not gonna work. Can I snap you? Will you snap? Maybe if I do it like this. Huh? No. That's not blue. Maybe if I do this from here? Yes? No? Maybe? need enough support. That's blue, so that's touching the ground. And so you, my little stairs, will go here, and you'll go here. And hopefully I can get the cart up the stairs. Because if I can't do that, we're going to have issues. First things first. No. How much weight? Okay, I need to go pick up all that wood I chopped up earlier and left laying there. So it doesn't disappear. I don't know how long it takes stuff to despawn, but I'd rather go collect it and not lose it. I'm almost done with all of it. I'm going to end up making a little cover bridge. Oh, cool. There's a bird hanging out on my fence. What's up, bird? I didn't know they could do that. There's a boar over there. We get a ton of residents. Like, today Mike was rolling past a residence apartment. working. He was working in another unit, and he walked out. And a different resident came out of his apartment and was like, Hey, can you come in my apartment and just fix something for me real quick? No, you have to call the office. I have to have a work order. Uh, I mean, you're right here. I just got an oxtail bone stuck in my... 
stuck at my disposal. Can you just come in and get it out real quick? No. I can't just come in and get it out real quick. Dear. Come back. I need your leather for stuff that I need to build. Sweet. Okay, I'll get that back out. I like you can see the lights in the distance. Oh, there's a bunch of great... Hey! Jerks, throwing rocks at my stuff. I saw you doing it. Don't think I didn't see it. Sweet. It's coming along nicely. I'm gonna have to put a bunch of lights outside too. Okay, I gotta dry off before I can get in the bed in advance time. There we go. Eh, nappy nap. Bright hall filled with gracious warriors and fair maidens. They are hums of song. Boards are grown under the weight of steaming dishes. The mead flows like water. You awake slowly with something. I missed it. <laughs> Sounded like a nice place. <laughs> Alright, rocks. Oh, I don't need all that wood. Trophy. There we go. And another word to the wise, if you live at an apartment complex and you see a maintenance person, like, drive by, you know, don't just yell, maintenance man, at them, you know. <laughs> All that's going to do is make us go, nope, and drive off. <laughs> Especially because I have a gas golf cart. If you're just yelling maintenance van at me, I'm going to pretend I can't hear you over the over the gas engine. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> I kind of leveled out a bit. These are a little close. Looks weird. Do like a little bridge head here. maintenance supervisor had a lady sitting in her car next to a piece of trash laying out. It was like a like a lid to a cup laying on the ground. I 
and this lady goes, as, as the maintenance supervisor drives past it, because we've got other stuff we've got to be worrying about, this lady goes, uh, isn't it your job to pick that up? <laughs> and the maintenance supervisor just went, no, and drove off. <laughs> oh. I love that kind of stuff. I'm just going to have to flatten this out more. If I'm gonna want to, if I want a path to get out of this, It's not. Maybe I can only cut it so much. build this okay so those two will snap together I might just have to build it all wonky get it some cattywampus going on That'll do. As long as I can get the cart up and down, which I don't know yet. It uh, might be something I have to try later. <laughs> Let's do this. It'll be way easier. is going to be an issue, because now I want to build a cover bridge. wood. Okay. Time to fix that. So, I was planning on doing the boss today, but <laughs> I might not get to it at the rate things are going. That's alright. It didn't take long to kill him. I 
I remember I got worried about doing it. It's like, oh no. I'm not going to be ready for it. He's going to be tough. No. He's not. He He's just there to make sure you understand basic combat mechanics. That's the best thing about the bronze axe, is it, you can use it to chop wood and chop enemies. I can reforest once I get a hoe. I'm sorry, a cultivator. Bronze Axe will also let me chop down those birch trees and get fine wood. So I can make a, a better bow. I can build, um, like, additions to the house. Upgrade the looks and the interior. All sorts of stuff. That tree taunts me. I just want to chop you down, tree. <laughs> Wait, do I have 164? About half. Take a second and have a beverage. <sighs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I thought I muted my microphone. I pressed the button. It didn't mute. <laughs> so I just belched to the mic. Again, thought I was muted. I tried to avoid that. I know people hate it. Hey, stop it! <laughs> I'm glad you're okay with it, with pulled. I think it's fine because I thought I was muted, like for realsies. <laughs> There's a deer. I missed it. Yes! Haha. <laughs> you don't even get meat from killing birds. You just get feathers. Which is great when you need to make arrows. Oh, the whole forest is coming down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I almost got crushed to death. Oh yeah, one of the other things. Like, talking about just not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow. Is... You know, they're telling, they're talking about, we had a meeting with our regional about, we're going to be making sure that we do quality over the quantity of units, right? Like, this was a discussion that we had. It was a close one. Um, and, like... Two hours after we had that conversation, 
um, they're talking about having us go and do four upgraded classic units, which is basically we go into an apartment that doesn't have all the new renovated stuff in it, and we just flip it and get it ready for the next person. So it's just a turn. But the quality of those is much less than our renovated units. <laughs> me, and, me and Cody were talking, it was just like, so are we doing quality or quantity? Because it sure sounds like quantity. <laughs> And, like, I had to paint the front door of a unit we were in today. <sighs> so this front door was painted with... They used an oil-based paint for the front door. Which, if you don't know anything about paint, there's a couple of different kinds. Um, the ones that are used the most are oil-based and water-based. Oil-based paint, though, you can't just wash it off. Oops. You have to use mineral spirits or a paint thinner to thin the oil paint to get to where you can actually, like, use it. Like, to actually clean the brush off. So, and it takes oil-based paint forever to dry. And I mean forever. And it really won't dry if it's not, if the conditions outside aren't right, if it's an exterior paint. So, it really just, <laughs> this paint I did on this door, it didn't dry right, it looked horrible. But there's not really anything I can do about it. Oh, that looks great. Let me go get all that wood I chopped down over there. <laughs> I like that bridge. It looks good. Um, I don't know. Just because. I think, I think it looks better as a covered bridge. But I can't put an actual roof on it, so. I don't know, I might change it. And also, I'm curious to see if um, if I pass under there during a rainstorm, if it will count as shelter or not. I don't think it will, because the those are floor tiles and not roof tiles. Yeah, purely aesthetic, and uh, and, a, and an experiment to see if it counts as floor or counts as roof. I don't think it does. Push this. Neck! Don't you chew don't chew on me. You little jerk. I think currently in the game there is the the meadows, the black forest, there's another area, I think there's the swamp, the mountains, the mountains is cold, like it's real cold. You know, maybe, I think I have a... a a different idea for the roof of the bridge. Oh 
gotta need more flint. Any more? Just loose wood. Oh, I'm about, my inventory's about full anyway. Maybe I'll do... Instead of that, I'll just do like a cross brace. I can't rotate it that way though. Let me see something. Also pull some of this back. that look weird? Sample pokes through a little. No. Looks weird like that. So I'll just go back to doing this. So those are just stacks of 50 wood. So I can come back later and just chop them up with my... Uh, Use my building tool to just break them. You get all of them back when you scratch. So, like, if I if I use my hammer and I just and I hit the destroy button, the remove button, which is click the mouse wheel, I get all the resources I use to build it back. If I smash it with, like, an axe or something else, uh, I think I only get some of the resources back. I think. Yes, not a lot of games let you do that, but that was one of my favorite things Subnautica did. And since it and a couple other games do that, like this one, love that feature. Love it. <laughs> I'll sleep till, till the morrow. So I'm gonna, oh no. I'm gonna put this grilled neck tail away. Look at some roast beast. Very calm, relaxing game until you start getting into some of the combat. And you can tame creatures too. Very, not a lot of games let you do that. You can tame the boars, um, wolves, and the wolves will fight alongside you. Use them to defend your house. Uh, which is neat. You do a lot of stuff. But I haven't done any taming, so I don't know how that works. There's like a big hairy buffalo thing. I don't know what it's called because I've only seen the only one I've ever seen is at a trader and I haven't seen it. Like I haven't seen a trader in game yet. So I don't know uh, what the deal is about all that. Okay, flint wood.
Certling core. What do I need to... Oops, I accidentally hit auto run. Twelve deer hide and ten bone fragments. I need four troll hide, I need a level four workbench. Gives me an extra armor. Four deer hide and five bone fragments. On well, my pants. I need level four anyway. And upgrade my flint spear again. The wood shield I think is to maximum. I'm not gonna upgrade my helmet. out. Need way more flint. <laughs> okay, I'll just make some arrows. Take on uh, the boss. Actually, let's put that away. And then you, you, you. I wish I knew how to make your in oh. I wish you could make your inventory bigger. There's an item you can craft called an obliterator. It's either an obliterator or it's item obliterator. I think it's just two, but I'm gonna bring three just in case. Um, and essentially what it is, is it's a box that has a spire sticking up out of it. And when you put items in it and you let go, Thor shoots lightning at it and destroys the items that are inside. <laughs> it's just a fancy garbage can, <laughs> that's all it is. Theers up here. Well, the problem is I have to find a trader because the only way to to obtain it is you have to buy like a thunderstone from the trader, and the problem I ran into my last game is I played it for a little, not like terribly long. Um, I never found a trader. I have to, uh, this time I'll probably build a boat, which I didn't do last time. I needed, I needed a bunch more material to be able to do it. And the problem is playing solo is it's real grindy, which is fine. I don't mind it being super grindy, but for streaming purposes, being like, Super grindy can get kind of boring. Well, I kind of wish a couple of friends had picked, you know. I wish all my friends that I play with on Xbox, like Nathan and Charlie and Jay, wish they had, you know, gaming PCs so we could all. We could all play stuff like this. Right now the dream is to win the Powerball and then just sort of buy everybody computers and be like, yo dog, let's stream. 
<laughs> That's the dream. But, you know. If it happens, it'll probably happen when we're like 87. We'll be like, yay! And then, you know, keel over. They're on Xbox and I'm on PC uh, when I'm streaming and we play together. That is how that works. Uh, that's why I play a lot of stuff that's cross-play. Uh, well, pretty much the only stuff I play is cross-play stuff because they're on Xbox and I'm on PC. Is that a Grayling? So there's this here. Hunt his kin. And you see a deer. So here's what we'll do. Okay, it's gonna get rough. So I sacrificed some deer trophies. This is the first boss. Oh! Ow. Come here, you. I tried to get out of the way of the lightning. Yes. It is awesome looking. Ouch. The super quick dodge. I'm still working on getting that down. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he'll just a lot of lightning. Treat! And all the bosses give you a power. You can't have more than one at a time. So you'll see. Excellent. So you'll see I'll get a trophy. Yes! Hard antler. Hugin. There it is. The severed head oozes power. So the very hard antler you use to make your first, um, your the first level pick for uh, harvesting like bronze and tin. No, well not bronze. You can't harvest bronze. Copper and tin. Bronze is an alloy. See, he's not that tough. The next one, the elder. Which I think I found. No. Yeah. Way out here, deep in the Black Forest, is um, the sacrificial altar for the Elder. Uh, and the description for that one is burn their young. Um, there is an item in the game called Ancient Seeds. And you get them from destroying Grey Dwarf uh, nests, basically. Grey Dwarfs grow from ancient seeds. Which, there's some sort of lore aspect to the, to the Grey Dwarves and the Greylings. I don't know much about it. I tried looking into it. Like, there's something in the Norse mythology about them, and they're basically like souls of hatred that have manifested themselves. So, like, the souls of murderers and stuff. I, I don't know. I looked into it a little bit. I was like, what on earth is this? 
I need to do a little more research. Where did I spawn in? Here it is. So you don't want to be too terribly far from this point. Because once you get too far, it becomes a journey to come back here. I don't even need the arrows. Oh, there's another deer. That one's down. Sweet. Really? Huh. Okay. That's fine. Here we go. So these are the the bosses. This is the first one. This is the elder, the second one. First of the forest, king in the wood, lord over those who dwell at his feet. His roots will grow where cities once stood. Their blood is wine, their flesh is meat. Is this one? Swamp creature. Wanderer, look to your feet that uh, tread upon our tomb. One thousand bones without their meat will drag you to your doom. That's the bone mass, that's what it's called. And then... Black wings across the moon and sun, down from the mountain our mother comes. Her weeping tears will fall like rain, her voice will call us home again. It's the, I think it's a wyvern? I'm 100% sure. It's definitely dragon-esque. Oops. Long ages past, he wore a crown beneath a blood-red sky. Now naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. This is the first one. Eek deer, however you say it. His antlers are branches of iron. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. His hooves are the sound of thunder. His voice a howling gale. It's pretty epic, these descriptions. <laughs> so, you come over here with a trophy hook when you got it. And you go, bloop. So I have the first forsaken boss set up. Now I can activate the power. So I can press the power key, which is F. You have been granted the power of ink there. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. Thanks, Hugin. Uh, but his power gives me uh, I forget his power gives me like a stamina boost oops I didn't mean to do that key was in the wrong spot my finger was in the wrong spot sweet Takes like 10 minutes for that to recharge, too. <laughs> well, 20 minutes for it to recharge. It lasts for like five minutes. That's gonna happen a lot. You could eat another bite. Sure. <laughs> Come back. Never mind. It ran all the way back to where I didn't want to be. There's a Grayling back there. Let's pretend he's not there. It'll be okay.
think my stamina recharges faster, it lasts a lot longer. I may as well sprint back. Oh yeah. Definitely makes my sprint last longer. Get anything from oak trees? Too hard. So the answer is yes, but I can't get anything from it currently. I can't believe that halfway worked. <laughs> Sorry, be confused. So you end up with absolute crap loads of resin because when you kill a grayling, they drop resin. Some of the shrubs, when you break them, they drop resin. Spears, bows. There's the ruins. So, the whole reason I waited to defeat him until after I built a wall around my house was soon there will start being events when I'm near the house. It'll just say the forest is moving. And a bunch of different types of gray dwarves, like gray dwarf brutes, um, shamans, gray dwarves, graylings will assault my house. So um, I need to be able to deal with that. <laughs> I like how that turned out. Looks good. Perfect. Oh, it's Hugin. I was like, what is that? <laughs> What's attacking my house? Hugin? There you are. Black Forest is rich in minerals. There you can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. Sure thing, Hugin. His brother, Munin. I believe it's Hugin Munin. Uh, it's the one that flies you in. It's nightfall. I'm going to sit down next to the fire. I'm going to go grab myself some more beverage. I'll be back in just a second, though. Okay.
Alright, I'm back. So I'm gonna sleep until tomorrow. I'm gonna go find some. You stand at the prow of a leaping ship, the salt spray before you and the joyful shriek of gulls above. Folded within a dream, you remember what it was like to be alive in the land of your birth. How much am I carrying? Too much. I'm trying to dump some stuff off. Time to go find some material. Real happy with that bridge. <laughs> I may have to divert my path to somewhere else, though. Let's see. I've died several times out here. I think this is Black Forest here. There's just a small chunk of black forest, but there's a lot of black forest here. A lot of ham hiding over there. I have to be careful though, because there's a troll wandering around the forest on near the outskirts. It was in the meadows and cake. <laughs> yes, they do it. It is good cake too, with old. Ha! There are deer hiding. I know their doom waits. <laughs> There's a whole like neck family over here. get tin and copper so I can have some of each and so I can also have oh well it doesn't matter because I can't make any yet I still need to get some I still need to find some deposits and then I gotta put all this stuff back and I've gotta go look for those dungeons because I have to have a smelter and I need five certling cores to make a smelter Oh, there's the troll. Hey, stop that. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he's fast. Because he has long legs. <laughs> Ooh, troll! Troll in the forest! You heard me fighting those gray dwarfs. <laughs> he came over to investigate and was like, mmm, there's a tasty snack. Problem is, he's got a tree, which is very bad. He can throw rocks from a distance. He can't do that if he's holding the tree, but he can really 
bring the pain. Maybe... I wonder. Oh, I can't because I don't have a workbench. I don't have enough wood. I was wondering if maybe I could... throw up a wall to stand behind and shoot arrows at him. And I could ring around the rosy around the wall. Oh, he moved. Oh, he sees me! He still sees me! I'm stuck. Oh God. It's bringing the forest down around me. I have to be careful. I'm running out of land. Crap, crap. Oh, he took like half my health, but I killed him. <laughs> Poof! Give me that delicious troll loot. I didn't know where I was going with it. <laughs> I think I have to have bronze to make a level four workbench. I think I need an adds to make a level 4 workbench. Because just a workbench is a level 1, you put a chopping block next to it, and then it becomes a 2, and then it becomes a 3. Sweet, I got some tin ore. Oh, it's Hugin. I thought you were another troll. Raw ore needs to be refined in the smelter before you can work it at the forge. Oh, yes. I know I need certainly cores. I certain I certainly need certainly cores. That's bad. That's real stupid. <laughs> it's making the Black Forest music, but I'm in the meadows. Wait, do I hear bees? I do hear... That's right! That's the first place I found bees was right here. But I couldn't, I couldn't get them because the troll was standing around here. So I was like, nope, I'll get that later. And that symbol up there in the top right, it can't be teleported. Stupid neck. Ugh. Go away. Lore, boar, is that it? Okay. Oh, right. Land is hard and wild, but we who brought, we who are brought here, the harder still. Take comfort, traveler, and the gifts before you, the good wood and stone, the fruits and flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of, and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. I 
use the function keys. It's not the right ones. There we go. Stop it. I'll find a dungeon here I'm going to investigate. Looks like there's one over here. And there was a skeleton fighting a bunch of boars. Burial chambers? Usually that's what this kind of structure is. Yeah, that's burial chambers. Good. Okay. I need to see if there's some copper here. If not, I need to harvest one more tin node. Damn. And it came back. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is coming outside and it being nighttime. Because if I come outside and it's night, I'm just going to have to turn and run for the house. What the hell? Something else is fighting stuff. I run across. Like that. But more importantly, if I come across like a uh, what's it called? A spawner. Sorry, it's very dark in here. It's always very dark in these burial chambers. Graphics. Can I adjust the gamma? No, oh, the gooey. I don't want to change that. No. Okay. Well. See if I could adjust the brightness. Make it to where it's easier to see what's happening. Uh oh. Good. Quite sure what happened there, but we got him. <laughs> I swear, some of these cave, like, burial sounds are from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Like, old cave sound effects. <laughs> Aha! Uh-oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm 
Okay, I gotta get rid of some of this. Uh, you can go there. Amber. Ruby. Uh, I don't need Grey Dwarf eyes. Rocks. Sticks. I don't need any of that. <laughs> All that can go away. the only thing I'm worried about is running into roughly 4,000 skeletons at one time. Or running into um a ghost. Just because they damage is dealt to ghosts in, in a weird way. It doesn't work like you think it, should, like you think it would. And it bothers me. I keep trying to sort it out, and I'm like, ugh. Speaking of, there's one right there. Oh, there's a skeleton, too. Let me help, let myself heal. I'm fighting both. I almost killed the whole ghost though, so that's good. Because you, I don't, I don't know that you can block their attacks. I just feel like they act wrong, and you don't get any loot from killing them. There we go. I have room for certling cores. I do. Good. I think... I don't know if I have one or two. I, I know I have at least one. So I think I might have enough to build either the kiln. Which I really need to have both. I, need, I can't do either or. I need to have both of them. The kiln and the... Uh, is that... Is this the whole burial chamber? I think it is. So I need to make a uh, mad dash back to the house. Once I get out of the Black Forest, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm expecting it to be nighttime. No, it's not nighttime yet. That's good. I haven't seen any... I've seen one blueberry plant. Those gray dwarfs fighting skeletons. I found blueberries once. I need to find a bunch of blueberries. So I can start making queen's jelly. Queen's jam, I mean. Once I get enough bronze to make a cauldron. Which is just a big cooking pot. got a bow. Oh, there's some blueberries. Oof. Is that more burial chambers? Are you just like local spawn skeletons? It looks like you're just like... Mm, I need to head back home. Up 
be nightfall soon. And it looks like I'll just have to go home. Um, I need to start prepping a space outside. Probably just use the back wall of the... I'll probably just use the back wall of the house and build, like, a lean-to off of that. And put the forge... Or put Yeah, put the forge under that. That way I can still utilize the... Uh, That way I can still utilize the... the wall. Did I get a queen? No, just honey? I throw away? I guess I'll throw away some neck tails. I'd much rather have a queen bee. Burn, Grayling! Get out of here! Let's see, does that zoom out? I'm not too far from the house. I'll probably run out of torch by the time I get there, but I can see fine. It's just... I have the torch up for stream purposes. It looks better like that. Get over the log, please. Thank you. One of the neat things about this is I think the game's just made like naturally in multiplayer mode. So if I want, I can invite friends and they can just drop in. But the game really kind of doesn't give a crap about your character and its and your character's stuff. So you can just bring another like I could I could have started the game with the character I have from my other from my off-camera playthrough. Yes. Um, it's, it's neat that it works like that, because then, you know, you can start fresh, or you can start with, you know, a character with the skills and, and some of the gear that you had already. fell over dead. <laughs> I like how the bridge turned out. Do I have wood? No, I don't. Inventory's a bit full. Trophies. This is treasure. No amber pearls? Oh well. resident who has a bird named Beans. And me and Mike went in their apartment to uh, fix a couple of things. And this bird just comes hanging out. 
he flew over, landed on landed on the stove, right next to Mike's arm, and was just kind of hanging out there. Uh, he was watching us. <laughs> and Mike's just there working, you know. <laughs> He's holding something up for me, and he that bird walks right over to us, and oh my god, there's a shaman. Hold on. Not really a problem, but he shoots poison out of his hands, and heals other gray dwarves. Oh, there's a brute. I was afraid of that. Usually, if there's a shaman around, there's a brute. Missed him. Way overshot. Come on. Dandelions are good for something. I don't remember what, though. It's a crafting recipe that needs them. Uh, anyway. Like, we're just working in there, and Beans is hanging out, watching us, seeing what we're doing. Just, you know, being a really intrigued bird. was like, we got a new supervisor! <laughs> it's just beans. <laughs> we went to leave the apartment, and the lady was like, come on, beans, they have to go. <laughs> beans was just hanging out on Mike's shoulder the whole time, and then he he flew across the room and then landed on my shoulder. And she's like, come on, beans, and walks over and puts her hand out, and he walks around to the back of my neck, and she comes around and he gets on this side of me. <laughs> She's like, Beans, I'm serious. And he flies off and lands on top of the TV and just starts cutting his eyes at her. <laughs> She's like, that's fine. You can hang out over there, Beans. True. <laughs> but I hear, oh my god, I don't want to wear it. You can have it. <laughs> I turn around and Beans is on Mike's shoulder grabbing his face mask and pulling on it. <laughs> going to put work the way I wanted it to, but... Because I built the... Because I built it up. And I've got all this crap here. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this, this, and that. Take that out. And if I just do, like... This. And then I do a two. I don't have enough wood. Oh, because it's core wood. Of course I have enough wood. And then if I take a door. I can disable snapping. That's right, so I can do like... I could get rid of you and you. 
I've disabled snapping. And I can just set you right there. As long as I'm crafty about it. I can probably get it all to look exactly the same. Right? You'd think? Maybe? Oh, yeah. And it just works. Perfect. So now I got a back door. And get over here where the forge is going to be. Cool. Okay. Uh, I need... A little, I need to chop down a little more wood. And I've got to make a box to put... So the beehive will make honey once a day, and it has, holds a max of four wood. So you can have a four wood, four honey. So um, you can harvest up to a maximum of four per thing. So if you just wait, collect, you can just scoop up a bunch. need enough wood to make a storage box. I need to put some stuff in it, and then I need to end the stream, because it's after 9. It's just barely after 9. power at the not at the apartment complex but like at the office for a little while yesterday because the bill wasn't paid <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> uh here. Let's see if this counts as... Okay, I can use it. Cool. So I think I'm going to do this. How much wood do I have? 25. And these are two. I'm not going to go chop more down. Give me 50 wood. Thank you. support. And then boom. 
So I'll be able to put my forge here. Uh, and I'll be able to put some storage right around this area. So I'm going to put all those in there. I go back in my house. Cool. Throw out a wave. It's caps locked. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so that's going to wrap the stream up for the evening. Uh, thanks for dropping by and checking it out. I'll be live again on Friday from 7 to 7 to 9. Uh, it may go a little longer. Usually it does. Uh, it just depends on what all we've got going on. Um, probably doing Sea of Thieves because it's just I normally have people available, available to play with me on Friday. So that's probably what's going to happen. Um, like I said, thanks for dropping by and checking it out, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your night.